Holy cow. Check this out, guys. Look at the campsite that we have. Look, look at, we're at the edge of a cliff with this like crazy looking beach, like right there. And there's like sea stacks and the trailer's like right here. This is awesome. Wow. We are Dana and Mike, and in 2022, we both left our jobs to travel the world. We moved our entire lives from 2,500 square feet down to about 120 square feet. Now, we live life on the road with our three dogs searching for adventure. Join us every Sunday for new videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. We've been traveling on the road for a couple of months now. We're doing this big cross Canada journey and we're currently in Newfoundland. We've actually been here for about a week now, staying at this awesome dry camping spot for the last seven days. It's been completely free. We've been living completely off grid. It's been awesome. We checked out Gross Morn National Park last episode. And today we're moving on from this spot because we're gonna head towards the Eastern side of Newfoundland now. Kind of sad to be leaving this spot because it's so amazing, but Gotta keep going. Today we're just kinda setting off. We have to dump and refill water and Dana wants to go hit up this really cool souvenir shop where she can buy a couple of things for our trip so far. So yeah, join us for that. We're just gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna hit the road. So yeah, this has been our amazing campsite. Like just check out that view. Look at this morning, like the fog rolling over the mountains and stuff. It is amazing. And just the fact that we're waterfront and we got to be here. There's nobody else here at this dry camping spot. We found it on iOverlander. And just like our trailer just fit here. It's great. And there's no cell service here, but luckily we got Starlink going. Works amazing here in Newfoundland. We haven't been without internet at all this whole trip here. I know some people don't care about internet, but for us it's pretty important because we got a lot of work to do while on the road. We're not just vacationing 24 seven. There's usually a ton of work to be done for our businesses back at home. But yeah, I can't say enough times how amazing this camp spot has been. And it was actually a true test of our off-grid worthiness of this trailer also. If you guys have been following along our videos, you'll know that a few months ago, I, with the help of a bunch of my friends, installed a complete off-grid lithium solar setup on this thing. Then that's really what's been keeping us going throughout this trip is having the ability to do whatever we need to do power-wise and having the Starlink for internet and stuff like that. So yeah, we've been on the road now for about two months. We've seen a lot of really, really cool stuff driven all across Canada. And yeah, we're here now at the most Eastern province in all of Canada. And very soon, probably within the next couple days or so, we're gonna go and see the very most Easterly point in all of North America. Uh, so yeah, guys, thanks a lot for joining us. We really appreciate you guys hanging out with us and let's get on with this adventure, huh? Mike and I can hopefully share that one. Hi. I was nervous at first because when I walked in, I saw some magnets and they weren't there. And I was like, I was oh, like no. are these your only magnets? And she's like, she's like no, um, we have some over here. And then I was like, oh, I was like, those aren't the ones I was looking at online. I was like, do you have stuff online in yeah. store? And she's like, yeah. And I, was like, I was like, okay, oh, I'm just going to show God. you. And then I like showed it to her and she's like, oh, yeah, this, this. And she's like walking around and I was like, yeah. oh, thank God. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that me and Mike can share this because we've only got so much space. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's re really nice. So yeah, we can take turns wearing that one. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> oh, I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello, Walmart. Nice to see you again. <laughs> we stayed at, I gotta say, like five or six Walmarts this journey so far. All right, we're all settled in. Now we're gonna mount up that magnet that Dana got. So yeah, this is our board that we got so far. 
Please Santorini, go through them. Thailand, Ireland, Hawaii, Fiji, and Bali. somewhere near it is the idea so I'm getting close holy cow you guys this is I this is stunning but like there's Mike there's a cliff there's some cliffs oh my god this is probably one of the best campsites we maybe ever will be in hopefully we can level out enough I don't know it seems really hilly just just look at that Absolutely beautiful, holy cow. It doesn't look very level, so I'm probably gonna have to... Actually, probably here is a lot more level. Here is on a big hill this way. This is like being at that park the other day, but now we have our trailer with <laughs> us. Like, yeah. insane. All right. We're all fully set up now. I got the griddle out. We're gonna make some burgers. Got extra solar panel. Starlink's good. This is, this is just so great. Probably one of, if not the best, this whole trip so far. What do you think? In terms of view? Yeah. Yes. Like this is the best view campsite we've had, hands down, this whole journey so far across Canada. Privacy maybe not so much. Yeah, but... people do drive by here because a lot of people go down to the lighthouse like way off in the distance over there. But like we talked to some locals and they were okay with us staying here and one of them worked at the visitor center and said it was totally fine so I'm going by them and So yeah, like at, I want to say it was like 2 in the morning it was or like something. Two in the morning. Yeah, we just started hearing this foghorn. <laughs> uh, it's from the lighthouse that's just over there. And when it's foggy, it goes off, no joke, every like 20 seconds. Uh, and then we threw on our noise canceling headphones, which did work yeah, that for was the most totally part. Fine. Yeah. So yeah, this place is gorgeous, but it has a huge drawback if you don't have any like, yeah, noise canceling headphones or anything. Alright you guys, we are headed over to the Bonavista Peninsula, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, we're gonna do maybe two trails out there. We're gonna start with Spiller's Cove, I believe. So we haven't even started the trail. We literally walked like, what, three minutes, not even. And <laughs> this view here at the very beginning <laughs> is stunning. And we've been here for like at least five, 10 minutes already. So I guess we should continue on the trail. Every angle I'm like taking a photo because <laughs> just this one area looks so nice. And then every angle of it looks stunning and more beautiful. So yeah. This is Spiller Cove, you guys. Mm -hmm. 
So we are at the end of the trail. We're getting near it, yeah. Yeah, and that's crazy. Look at this. Look at these just jagged, sharp rocks. Crazy shapes. Wow. We're back and the view is still amazing. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get over this. I never want to leave. Yeah. There we are, pesto chicken sandwiches. About to leave this amazing camp spot. Well, it was mostly amazing. You can still hear the foghorn going. So yeah, that went all night. Uh, and then we'll get back on the road. Gonna head to our next destination here in Newfoundland. But she's not sure where it is. Dana will know. She always knows. I just do this stuff. I don't actually know this stuff. <laughs> arrived at our potential campsite. Um, the approach was pretty interesting for sure. A lot of potholes, uh, but pretty fun at the same time. We made it through okay and now we're by the water. Well, all right, everyone. We have made it to our next camp spot. We are in the town of, please don't laugh, the town of Dildo, Newfoundland. And we are right by the ocean once again. And cross our fingers, it works out because we are hopefully going to be here for a few days exploring all the way to St. John. So yeah, looks really nice. Mike's, Mike's feeling confident about the spot. All right, we're all set up now. This is a really nice spot right by the ocean. We are going to go on a little adventure today. Very short, simple trail. We are going to Hopal Falls. All right, we are here. Let's -a go. I think we're here, I can hear it. Ooh, cool. That's pretty cool. This is very pretty. I love waterfalls where there's like five of them. <laughs> yeah, so like to go along with the whole, we're learning how to live this lifestyle. If any of you guys know kind of our backgrounds, Mike used to work in the film industry. I own a aerial fitness studio. And back when we were living your regular old day to day, Mike would be, you know, working his what, 12 to sometimes 14 hours a day. And I'd be home with the dogs, you know, doing my thing. And a lot of the week we don't see each other that much just because of our work schedules. So. Now, living this lifestyle, we're together 24 seven and we're loving it, but we're also learning. Like it's been like eight years, Mike was working on this film called The Flash. For those of you that know, that's just what our lifestyle was. Just thought I'd give you a little bit of background and like how we're learning to live this lifestyle. Cause I don't know, I think it's a part of the, it's a part of the journey, a part of the experience, and I don't know, why not be open about it? <laughs> and we're heading into St. John. We're gonna go see 
the biggest town here in Newfoundland. So we're gonna go visit this lighthouse, which happens to be the most, the absolute most easternly point in all of North America. Not just Canada, the entirety of North America. This is as far east as you can go, and we're heading there now. Check out this lighthouse. Hey! We made it! This is it! We are at Cape Spear, the most easterly point of North America. Yeah, guys, this is pretty cool. Standing here on the most eastern edge of our continent, not just our country, but the entire freaking continent. This is awesome. Like crazy conditions, it's so windy, it's so rainy, and our dogs are dying, especially this one. Um, but this is awesome. Like we made it all the way here. We started at the west coast of Canada, and we've driven thousands and thousands of kilometers to get all the way here. It's a crazy feeling standing all the way over here on the most easterly edge and just wild to think about the journey that we've been on so far. And like we're just getting going guys, like like we might be getting close to finishing Canada, but there's still a whole lot more to go. We're gonna go into the States, we're gonna go into Mexico, and then we're gonna come back to Canada and go to Alaska. Like there's still so much coming guys. So thanks a lot for sticking around with us so far and let's keep going, right? Well, that was extremely cool. The waves here today are nuts and definitely something to see. And hey, we stood on the easternmost point of North America. How many people can say that they've done that? Yeah, it's our last night spot <laughs> yeah it's a really nice spot for sure i would come back here but we're heading off to twilling gate twilling. twilling gate tomorrow uh which is i guess dana red is another must-see place here in newfoundland this is actually going to be our last stop in newfoundland before we head back to mainland canada so yeah winding down here <laughs> this was really great way now to Twilling Gate. So we just stopped at a campground nearby and dumped and refilled water and all that stuff. So now we're back on the road and we're gonna go to Twilling Gate and it should be pretty cool. What can we expect to see there? Oh, uh, just some more nice landscapes. It has apparently a good reputation for its trails. So we're gonna do a couple of those. Sweet. And the weather's pretty nice today and it should hold nice until we're leaving Newfoundland in a few days here. So let's get to it. Find our next campsite. made it. Check that out. Freaking beautiful. Definitely a bit of a thing getting it up. You can't really tell but this is pretty steep and I went up head first thinking I could like oh just drive it head first around it'd be perfect but I ran out of room and had to do a billion three-point turns. Uh, I probably should have just backed it up this thing but it's all good. We're here now. Check out the view. I have really loved Newfoundland for boondocking. It has been amazing. <laughs> Definitely the best province so far with doing this kind of camping. So, Dana's whale watching. Oh my god, and I think I'm finding whales, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> there was these like white puffs of water just blowing up in the sky and then they like disappear and then they keep coming. Oh my god, you guys, I saw a tail! Holy cow! That was super cool! It is 
our last day, or full day really, of doing adventures here in Newfoundland. And I think Mike and I are both a little bit down. <laughs> we don't really want to leave Newfoundland, yeah. but we've just had a really great experience camping here on Newfoundland. But as for today's adventures, we are going to do two trials. If uh, we're up for it, <laughs> let's see how we feel after the first one. Yeah, then, oh, and then on the way in, we saw a whale skeleton at this little harbor. So we might go check that out. All right, we are here. I think this trail is called French Beach. Uh, it's where the trail starts. Oh, I see. So this is the trail that we're doing. We're gonna start here and go around this whole loop around this whole thing back to here. About six kilometers, moderate French beach. Let's do this. It's immediately beautiful. <laughs> ah. So we are not that far on the trail, probably like a kilometer in, and it's already sunning, super beautiful, just as always here in Newfoundland. And yeah, can't wait to see the rest of the trail. So the main reason people come to Twillingate is actually for the icebergs that you get to see, see. in the early uh, spring. You can come out and go on some boat tours to go see some icebergs floating around in the water. So that is the main reason why you come here. But I read on Google that Twillingate was rated in some like top 10 like hiking destinations in like all of Canada. So far so good. Yeah, so far so good. Like, come on. <laughs> view. This is our official kind of last night here in Newfoundland. Tomorrow we go back on the road, drive for a crazy long time and get on a ferry to go back to mainland Canada. Yeah, that's it's actually it's kind of sad because this has been one of the best camping experiences in all of Canada I think that we've ever had. Like coming here to the most eastern edge of North America, having all these amazing views and amazing campsites that were all free like this is what it's truly about. This is what we set out to do, was to have experiences like this. And it's just so amazing. Like, I'm, I'm so thankful that we made it all the way here. It was a heck of a journey to get from one side of Canada to the other, but we did it. And like, it's just great. Thank you guys for tagging along so far. Thank you guys for watching this episode. We're not done Canada yet. We have That's a couple true. more stops to make. That's true. Yeah, so we're going to go back onto mainland Canada now. And we still have to go see Prince Edward Island. And we still have to go see Ontario and Quebec and Ni like things like Niagara Falls. So yeah, we got lots more Canada to come. And then after that, we're going to be heading into the States. But thank you guys for joining us so far. We hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, keep tagging along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> so with that guys, thank you again for watching. My name is Mike. I'm Dana. Or let's just go travel and we'll see you guys on the next episode.